Okay, so th what the hell's going on? You, I, if you can see me, this is David Bronstein, the king of late night TV. You miss me? You haven't seen me in a while. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm I'm using my kid's computer with his camera here, and this is my kid's room, and and I got all these pop ups. I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. I got to get rid of all these. Uh, anyway, I got a lot to say. I've had a lot to say, and my camera doesn't work on my computer. I it's pixelated. I don't know what's going on. So hopefully this is working, and, and you're seeing me now, and you can see this crazy blog. Now, I have a digital camera. I bought a Olympus 330, it's called, a camera. Then I saw a 340 camera. I don't know what the difference is. If anyone knows what the difference between a, an Olympus 330 and 340, please let me know. Because the uh, an older camera I had was very flowing when I would take movies, like a movie camera. This one's very, like, choppy-like. And it shouldn't be because it's a more advanced camera than the other camera I had. Technology moves forward, doesn't move backward. Anyway, so much has been going on in my life. I said I'm going to have to start taking the camera with me and doing blogs right as it happens. Because I, I don't have time to come home and do a blog like I'm doing now. But I didn't take the camera with me, so I'm doing this very quickly. But from now on, I'm going to take my camera and, and hold it out like this. And then you can see the blogs I'm doing because I got a lot to say when it happens. Now, I just yesterday I wanted a pizza. Uh, Andrew wasn't feeling well. She wasn't making dinner. I thought I'm going to get a pizza. And I'm going to go to this restaurant to get the pizza I like to get. And my kids like to go to Pizza Pizza and Pizza Nova and all these fast food joints. But I don't like to go. I don't like the pizza there. It's fast food pizza. And I, and I want... Pizza when I used to go to Philadelphia. When I'm from Philadelphia, I used to get pizza. You get a round pizza, regular pizza for three dollars, and you can still get it for three dollars at Station Pizza in Philadelphia. It's great pizza. It's American pizza, not the shit pizza I get here. I, I can't get. If anyone can tell me where I can get the best pizza, like American pizza, tell me where to go. Go to America. America. Go to DavidBronstein.com. Go to DavidBronstein.com and tell me where I can get good American pizza in Toronto. All right, so I go to this Italian restaurant to get pizza, and everything's so expensive here. It's unbelievable. I call the the pizza parlor. It's a time. My wife says, why do you want to go there? I said, because I haven't had pizza there in a while. I, I, I like the pizza there. I'm going to get pizza. So I call, and the girl says, name of the restaurant, I don't want to tell you. And I say, um, hi, I like to order a, a small a pizza pie. And Andrew says, who, who calls it a pizza pie? Well, that's what it's called, a pizza pie. So she says, hold on. Now I'm going to ask you a question. She tells me to hold on to help another customer, probably. But how come whenever I'm in a restaurant or in a store or, or a, a retail outlet, whatever it is, and there's a live person waiting on me, and the phone rings. Why do they answer the phone? Well, I'm standing right there, and they start helping the person on the phone. Well, it never ever happened. And I'm standing there, the phone rings. The says, "Excuse me, hello, hold on." Okay, David, what do you want? That never happens. It's hold on a second. Hello, yes, can I help you? What do you need? And start and, and so it's helping the person on the phone. Except when I call, the girl says to me, "Hold on," and helps the person there. Anyway, I'm on the phone, and then my other phone rings. My other cell phone rings. So another gentleman I'm doing business with, Howard Tepperman, I'm talking to him with the phone, so I'm talking to him with the phone while I'm still holding the pizza parlor, and I, re and I have a whole conversation with Howard, and then I realize she hasn't come back for the pizza, so I hang up, but I wanted pizza there, and I didn't know anybody else's phone number, so I press redial, so she answers, and she wants to see my phone, she said, oh, I'm terribly sorry, but she didn't say, I'm terribly sorry, I'll give you a free pizza, she said, oh, I'm terribly sorry, I said, I'd like to order a pizza pie, a small pizza, I said, how much is that, $25? So she left because it's usually $25 when I get a pizza because that's how much they are here in Toronto. Everything is $25 in Toronto. So like in Las Vegas, all the taxi rides, wherever I go is always $15. No matter where I go, I go from the hotel to that hotel, it's $15. Anyway, so um, she's always oh, $9.99 or something. I said, oh, I can't believe we're getting a pizza for $9. I can't believe it. I said, okay, I'll be right there to pick it up. Now, I called at, um, I ordered the pizza at 840, 840, and I picked it up at 920. So you understand the the... Differential. I ordered it at 40, picked it up at 9.20. Now, when you order from Pizza Pizza, it takes a half hour to get it to you. So I was giving myself a half hour, and I went, I drove to the store. I had to go to the drugstore. I had to buy toilet paper and bought soap and toothbrush and all this other stuff. And then I went across the street to get the pizza. Now, I wanted to get the pizza. There was a little outdoor cafe, and people were sitting there, and they all recognized me from TV, which is very flattering. I'm honored, and they say, hey, where are the girls? And um, it's one on one at the screen. They're always imitating me, and they had little babies there. And I said, your kids will be my new fans. So they all laughed, and I walked in, and the waiters all recognized me. They said, hey, we haven't seen you in a while. And they shook me. Well, how how things going? Where have you been? I said, I don't know where I've been. I couldn't tell you where I was yesterday or 10 minutes ago. You're asking me where I've been. So I said, I ordered a pizza, and the girl's looking around. She says, I can't believe that pizza's not ready yet. I figured, how could it not be ready? It's over a half hour. And then she walks to the kitchen, and she stops and looks down at a table, a little table off to the side. I said, oh, there it is. My pizza was sitting in a box on a little table next to the men's room. I wouldn't even sit next to the men's room in a restaurant. Why is my pizza sitting in a table next to the men's room? Is is the pizza that bad that they want to? Once you eat it, you got to go right in there. <laughs> is the pizza that that goes right through you? 
So, so I, I thought, why isn't the pizza? Uh, what are you laughing at? <laughs> I said, why isn't the pizza in the oven or in the um, in, with aluminum foil? You know, you, when you order hot food and you're not there to pick it up and it's ready, they keep it hot. They keep it in the oven. They, they wrap it up in something. They, they keep it on top of it. They always, here it's in a box on a table next to the men's room. Maybe the men's room's hot. I don't know, but I thought to myself, this pizza is going to be cold. Why isn't it hot? So they give me the box. I give them the money. I walk out. I open the pizza, and the people walking out see me and say hello and all that. I open. I t ice cold. Why do I have to have ice cold pizza for nine? It cost me eleven dollars with tax. Why do I have to have ice cold pizza? So you say, well, Dave, why don't you go back in and tell me to heat it up? And I thought I'm going to go back in and tell me to heat it up. But I don't want to wait. I hate waiting. I don't wait for anything, and I didn't want to have to go back in. And of course they was oh we're terribly sorry we're here and I have to sit there and wait and talk to the waiter. I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to wait. So I took the pizza. I thought I'll go home. I'll heat it up. But I I never heat up pizza. My kids eat cold pizza the next day. They put it in the refrigerator. I never eat leftover foods. I don't like, I don't like leftover foods. And, and I ordered eleven dollar pizza and I one slice in the car because I'm hungry. I haven't eaten it. It's it's nine thirty. It's quarter of ten already. So I'm eating cold pizza that I've never had in my life for eleven dollars. So I want you to I want you to tell me what are the places. Can I uh, uh, that serve cold pizza for eleven dollars? Let me know because I'm not going to go there. That's what I want you. To, I want you to go to davidbronson.com. Say, Dave, you go to that, that. This pizza, that pizza, and th these places all serve cold pizza for eleven dollars. So I know not to go there because I'm not going to go back to this place. The place where the waiter said, "Well, I haven't seen you in a long time." Now he knows why he hasn't seen me in a long time because they serve me cold pizza for eleven dollars. I, I I shouldn't have to eat cold pizza for eleven dollars. All right, so that's my blog for today. Cold pizza for eleven dollars, horrible. Now, I I just came from. A bagel store. My kid wanted bagels. How much time do I have here? My kid wanted bagels. He sends me to this. I live in an area where there are so many bagels. So yeah, I have to go to this place over here. They're all the same to me. So um, I, I walked in the bagel shop there. You know, a bagel shop right near me. My kid doesn't like me to the weather anymore. And I I walked in there and I and I saw the the um, baker in the back. He was making the bagels and he was he was he was um, rolling out dough and and he, and he had cookie and it taking out his teeth and he was cutting cookie shapes with his teeth. And I said, what are you doing that for? Why don't you use a tool? He said, I use that for the bagels. So I went um, to this bagel place, and um, and there's a line of people. To get, my kid went to Buttery Bagel. I, I, I can't stand going there, Richard. I mean, it's a very social place. All the Jews are there. If the Arabs want to attack the Jews, that's the place to go. And I'm standing there, and there's two people behind the counter. I have to be bring a newspaper and a television to stand while I'm waiting in line, waiting to get served. I can't stand it. So I, I leave that part. I go to the bakery part where I just order the bagels. Bring my kid or butter his own bagel. I can't stand this anymore. And of course, they all know me from television too. So when I get there, the lady says, "Oh, how you doing? <laughs> well, how come I haven't seen you on television? <laughs> Are you still on TV?" <laughs> now I have an iced coffee uncovered, and she's <laughs> coughing all over there. What am I gonna do? My kid wants bagels from that restaurant. I said, "Yeah, <laughs> I'm still on TV." <laughs> I leave there disgusted, but from all the coughing that's going on there, I can't because I'm a germ freak like um, Howie Mandel, Howard Hughes. That's the only difference between Howard Hughes and me is I have more money. So uh, I leave the bagel place disgusted with the, with the coughing, and I go to another bagel place, and I'm, I'm going down this street, and it's loaded with Jews. And, and I live in an area that's very Jewish, and the Jews, the Orthodox Jews are walking around, and it looks like Fiddler on the Roof. But this street that I was on, and there were so many Hasidic Orthodox Jews on this street, all in the street! This is the part of home There was a sidewalk right there, and they're all congregating in the street. Uh, maybe 20, 30, 50 Orthodox Jews in the black coats and the hats and all that stuff, and thank God they're keeping the tradition like they sing in Fiddle on the Roof tradition, because I'm certainly not keeping it, so I'm, I'm, somebody in my religion is keeping the tradition. I had bacon and eggs this morning. Anyway, so, but what my question to you was, 30, 40, 50 Orthodox Jews in the street, and they're all coming down the street, not walking on the sidewalk, walking in the street. That, that when I went down the street, I had to inch up. Nobody's moving. Nobody's, and then little kids are running in front of me like that. I, I, there's a sidewalk right there. Why? Why they're all kind? Of, it wasn't a block party. It wasn't a block party where they're blocking off the street, and I didn't know about it. It was a an, an open street where you could drive. But as they were coming into the street, they were all walking from another street. Down the street and not walking on the side. They all wanted to walk and talk, and they just came back from synagogue and they want to meet their neighbors. Whatever they're doing today, why aren't they on the sidewalk? I want you to go to davidbronstein.com and tell me why are the Jews walking in the street? That's all I want to know. And why are they congregating in the street? That when I was driving down, I couldn't drive down the street. I had to inch my way, so I 